Hi there, Manage in this aerial bridge cap. I see you're about a mile and a half out. I'll uh, go ahead and start the lift for you. Also, you have a neutral current through the canal at this time. Thank you. Arriving in the Dilution Canal is the Arthur M. Anderson. The Anderson was built in 1952 by the American Shipbuilding Company at Lorraine, Ohio. She measures 767 feet in length, 70 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She is powered by a 7,700 horsepower Westington House steam turbine engine, which gives her a top speed of 13 knots, or about 15 miles per hour. She is also equipped with bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Arthur M. Anderson has 23 hatches on deck, which open into five cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch cover measures 46 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 25,300 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,700 tons per hour without the need of shoreside equipment. The Anderson is owned by the Duluth based Great Lakes Fleet, a subsidiary of Canadian National Railway and operated by Key Lakes Incorporated, also of Duluth. The Anderson is famous for being the last vessel to have visual, radar, and radial contact with the Edmund Fitzgerald just before the Fitzgerald sank in a squall 17 miles northwest of Whitefish Point in Lake Superior on November 10, 1975. Her captain reported the Fitzgerald missing to the Coast Guard and assisted in their search for her. The Anderson was named after the director of U.S. Steel and vice chairman of the J.P. Morgan and Company at the time she was built. She was one of three AAA class ships built for the Pittsburgh Steamship Division of U.S. Steel. She was lengthened by 120 feet in Fraser Shipyards in 1975 and was converted to a self-loader during the winter of 1981 to 1982 at Fraser Shipyards. Although she went into temporary layup in 2017, she returned to service July of 2019. The Arthur M. Anderson will be loading at Canadian National today. If you see any crew on board, be sure to give them a big wave and welcome them back to the Twin Ports. Canadian National today to load iron ore ballots. 